Nobody likes to eat dirty food, especially if it's a piece of hair in your ice cream. It makes sense that many contaminants find their way into food before it reaches our hands. For example, that hairy ice cream can trace its secret ingredient back to the guy who scooped it, or even to the cow's udder. But what about the stuff you can't see? Ever wonder what could be hiding in your fish taco on the molecular level? There are a few contaminants that everybody should be aware of, mainly methylmercury. This is especially prevalent in seafood, which is a resource used heavily all over the world and is the primary protein source for about 1 billion people in developing countries. Methylmercury has been extensively researched in the past few decades and has proven to be the cause of Minamata disease, a crippling neurodegenerative disease originating from heavy mercury waste dumping in Minamata Bay, Japan. Methylmercury. This compound is introduced into the environment and is then steadily concentrated up the food chain through processes known as bioaccumulation and biomagnification. Though low levels of mercury are found naturally in the ocean from rocks and geothermal vents, much of it originates from human activity. The story begins when coal is burned at power plants, which are by far the leading contributors of mercury pollution in the world with 33 tons of mercury pollution per year in the United States. The pollution is either dumped directly into the ocean or released into the atmosphere through smog and consequently carried by winds over the ocean and released through rainfall. The mercury is still in its elemental form, which is easily disposed of by the body. However, it is converted into methylmercury by anaerobic organisms in the ocean sediment and water column. In this organic form, the molecule is easily stored in body tissues and therefore readily absorbed by phytoplankton and other microorganisms in the ocean. These are subsequently ingested by primary consumers and so on. Going up the food chain, the methylmercury content exponentially increases. This is based simply on the fact that as an organism lives longer, for example a tuna, it will have more time to accumulate methylmercury into its tissues and the organisms it feeds on will also have had more time to accumulate toxins. The relative concentrations of methylmercury in seafood will depend heavily on pollution sources, wind belts, and ocean currents. For example, you might want to avoid fisheries in a relatively enclosed area like a bay which has heavy industry. In fact, this scenario is exactly how Minamata disease was discovered. Heavy amounts of industrial waste laden with mercury were dumped into Minamata Bay, which accumulated into the environment as methylmercury. This not only led to the destruction of the local fishing industry, but also led to an outbreak of a strange disease with symptoms that include insanity, loss of fine motor control, and brain damage in developing fetuses. This phenomenon continued in the area from the mid-50s up until the early 70s. The people of Minamata are the victims of corporate stupidity and government bureaucracy, but this disaster focused our attention on how important it is to embrace the responsibility that is thrust upon us and to be wary of the possible impacts of our actions. This is not an isolated incident, however. People all over the world have felt and continue to feel the impacts of ocean pollution. Fortunately, the input of mercury pollution has been going down in recent years. As I mentioned, increased scientific research and better observational techniques have led to increased awareness of the subject and stricter regulations. In fact, the United States mercury emissions have dropped 65% over the past two decades and are projected to go down 80% by 2016 compared to 1990 levels. This means that things are looking up, though it is still your responsibility to be wary of the foods you eat and how they were produced. For details on which seafood is safe, we recommend using the Seafood Watch app made by the Monterey Bay Aquarium for an easily accessible and reputable reference to use while grocery shopping or dining.